Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to use this Duracoat from a paint my rifle barrel. It's supposed to withstand all the heat uh, for coming from the barrel, but I am using a bolt action, so heat is not a problem because there is no rapid fire. So I already prepped my rifle. This is the Ruger Precision Rifle 5.56. Five, I love this gun. This gun's pretty badass. So first we're going to apply the Duracoat True Strip, which is a degreaser. And pretty much it tells you to just apply it, but because the barrel is already, I guess, bead blasted from the factory, um, I don't really have to do much scrubbing or anything like that. But I bought this stuff on Amazon. And, and I already prepped it, as you can see here. Uh, I used um, some plastic and some uh, painter's tape just to hold everything together. I did not take anything apart other than the shroud. And let's get started. And I'll spray it on thick so that all the grime will drip off. This thing comes with a little pad. I'm just going to use it to kind of scrub it off a little bit. Just kind of scrub the surface a little bit more. But it took off pretty much most of the anodizing. Get some water that's maybe about like 100 degrees. And place your can in there for a few minutes. At least 5, maybe 10 minutes depending. This will actually kind of thin out the paint inside the can. The spray beads from the nozzle will actually be smaller and the coats will actually be, go on better up to the surface of what you're painting. Take this off. Comes with the extra nozzle. And you got to take this off. And what you do with this is you take this thing and you put it right here. And what that does, it, it actually will break the hardener. This thing has a built-in hardener. You shake it.
Alright guys, it's been about three hours since I completed spraying. So it's actually pretty dry to the touch. Um, nice uh, soft finish. Pretty cool. It looks kind of brown in the picture, but it's supposed to be copper. Here, let's remove it in the sun. Let's see if it uh, might look different. Not really. Yeah, it looks brownish, but it's probably because of all the layers that we put in here. Try and put it against a white background. Still can't really get a good shot of it. But so far I like it. At least uh, if I need to redo it, just gotta do the same process again.